Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Tom Holland here. I am at the Ace Seattle Comic Con, having a great time, meeting everyone, it's going really well. Um, I wanted to apologize because there's no real revelations coming out this weekend about Spider-Man 2. I don't know much about it. Um, I'm a little confused because I died, so I don't really know how it all comes into play, but I do know is I got the new script, I'm super excited to read it, and it's gonna be great. So yeah, Spider-Man 2. What's Let's going on, moviegoers? So Tom Holland, did it again. Tom Holland did it again. He is like the worst at giving away shit. Like literally, he, he spoils everything. So apparently he decided to take a video of the script that he's reading for Spider-Man Homecoming, the sequel to, and the title was on the page and it's Spider-Man Far From Home. I was like, oh my God, Tom Holland. I hope that, you know, Marvel really gave you the okay and was like, hey, you know, we can release the title for the sequel because we start shooting in July. So pretend like we didn't really give you permission to do that and that was like a screw up on your end. Or Tom Holland just completely fucked up and dropped a ball like he always does. Spoiling, spoiling, spoiling everything. Like if you see him in interviews with other, you know, Avengers and other the MCU characters, they always have to stop him. I'll answer this because I know how you're going to answer this. You're going to spoil this shit. And we don't want that. But if this is true, Spider-Man Far From Home will be the official official title for the sequel coming out next year. Now, it's kind of strange for a title. I will have to admit that. I don't know how I you know, really feel about it. It's not your typical title, if you ask me. Um, but we do know that in this next Spider-Man film, he won't just be in New York City. He won't be homebound. He will also be going around the globe. So I'm curious to see why he does go around the globe and what's this next storyline going to be and we all we all we all know that it's um they're trying to get jake gyllenhaal to play mysterio for one of the main villains um and i also heard michael keaton's the vulture will be making an appearance in this movie as well so i'm excited to see that i really feel like they're setting up the sinister six and i feel like if they're going that route they're going the right route so i'm, I'm really pumped for that but far from home spider-man 2 coming out next year july one thing I will have to say about this Spider-Man movie is I just want Spider-Man to really like web swing through the city. You know what I mean? I feel like we didn't get that in Spider-Man Homecoming. Like we didn't get a lot of it. You know, like in those Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, we always got Spider-Man web swinging through the city. I mean, that shit's like one of my favorite things. One of my favorite things I love to see Spider-Man do. So I'm hoping we get more of that in this Spider-Man sequel, Spider-Man Far From Home. Um, but rumor, I don't know if this is true, Fast forward if you don't want to hear it, but I did hear this rumor that in this film, Spider-Man will be grieving for Iron Man because Iron Man dies in Avengers 4, the untitled Avengers. Now, if this is true, goddamn, that's going to be sad because we all know I don't want my Iron Man to die. And to see Peter Parker really grieving because, he, you know, his mentor, Tony, died is going to be, a, you know, very heartfelt to watch. But if that's true, damn, that's going to be crazy. It'll be crazy. Hope he gets a new suit, upgrade to the suit. Um, the Iron Spider, maybe we'll see it, but who knows. Um, but I'm, I'm excited for the Spider-Man sequel, I will have to say. I like the route that they're going with, you know, with the, the Sinister Six, it feels like, you know, because they already introduced Shocker, the Vulture, and if the Mysterio's next, and they got uh, um, Scorpion? Yeah, Scorpion. I feel like they're setting it up for like a big, for that third movie. Put them all together, and it's gonna be fabulous. And who knows? You know, with this Venom movie coming out later, you know, they said that the Spider-Man movie will be taking place, you know, all around the globe. He could end up in San Francisco because that's where that, that Venom movie takes place and he could run into, Peter Parker could run into, you know, Eddie Brock's Venom. So that's going to be interesting to see. But that's the title, you guys, Spider-Man Far From Home. Let me know what you guys think about that title. What do you, I mean, what are your opinions on it? Thoughts, process, let me know. I'm still skeptical about it, but who knows? Push the comments down below, you guys, and thank you. Taking time and ready to watch zero productions, y'all. Peace. We out. We out. We out. We out.